Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Jason Stowe, CEO of Cycle Computing. Welcome. Hey Jeff, how are you? Excellent. So let's start with talking about what Cycle Computing is and what you guys do. So we, for the last seven years, have helped people manage computation. Cycle is the leading provider of utility HPC software, and we help people run workloads internally that are compute intensive and make them available and run on the cloud efficiently uh, using the great scale that we can get from uh, AWS. So let's talk a bit about scale. What constitutes a large scale job at this point in time? So we have you know, uh, a few large scale runs that we've done in the past. So we did a 10,000 core run with Genentech, a 30,000 core run with Novartis, and most recently a 50,000 core run with Schrodinger. This 50,000 core run ran across all seven of the public regions uh, that were available at the time, about 20 availability zones. Uh, and basically utilize uh, a large core count to do a analysis in molecular modeling targeted at a cancer target uh, for drug design. So essentially Schrodinger was doing some really cutting edge research using their Glide software which simulates molecules going into proteins and in this case um, they had a cancer target they were looking for a, a lock and key style fit. Um, and we basically did what would have been an undoable workload in about three hours. Uh, thanks to Cycle software and, and AWS's infrastructure. Now, are cores the only good metric of how big of a job you process, or are there other dimensions that we should think about as well? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of different ways to think about this. So first off, although we have done these really large runs, most of our customers day to day are using lots of core hours, but you know, using 40 cores or 1,000 cores, but running them for very large periods of time. So we also have a number of runs that are coming into our uh, our run schedule where people are going to use our software to run a million hours of calculation. So uh, over the next couple of, of weeks and months, we're anticipating being able to talk about a, a couple of million plus hour uh, computations in life sciences and financial services and insurance, um, et cetera. So the hour mark is definitely a, uh, a total work, workload size. Sure. Now, clearly at the very simplest level, I can go to the AWS management console and I can just type in theoretically some big number and launch a bunch of instances, but that's obviously not enough. So tell me a bit more about how you add value to simply launching instances to make a whole solution. Yeah, so we definitely, we take the um, infrastructure that we get from AWS, which A has um, by far the lowest uh, of any kind of error rate where you can't launch into a server or anything. Most infrastructure coming out of AWS is like in stellar condition. And we turn that into a working supercomputer. But we also handle the one or two uh, errors that may happen along the way um, as part of the automation process. So we make it so that you get a working supercomputer out of all of the EC2 infrastructure uh, that you've provided. So um, we also handle things like auditing and reporting and a number of the other uh, aspects of running HPC workloads where we'll take the data from the internal environment, be able to move it into AWS, synchronize it to the various places that it needs to be in order to run, run the analysis, turn around, get the results back out, and track what's going on in each of those steps so that we can deal with you know, reporting requirements for HIPAA or uh, alternately for SOX, uh, compliance and financial services. So depending on what industry you're in, there generally are regulations around how you treat the data, tracking where it goes, running an analysis, et cetera. Now when you launch one of these gigantic clusters, is there this mad scientist moment where you suddenly say, wow, I've got this huge amount of power under my, my control? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we definitely have a, a really fun time watching customers uh, do this kind of workload. I think um, it's also hard for them to go back to using a more normal internal cluster afterwards. Our belief is that everything should be done using this kind of, of power and agility. Um, you know, in some cases, you know, for customers that are using us on a 400 core cluster day to day, when they go and use this mad scientist moment to use a 20,000 core cluster, they're seeing time to result improvements that aren't in the 100% uh, improvement or 200% or 50% improvement. They're seeing hundreds of thousands of percent improvement in terms of the time to result. Um, so this is that mad power that you get out of, of this AWS class infrastructure where we can actually take and do problems that could never be approached before and run them in reasonable periods of time at reasonable cost. Are your customers doing the math on what it costs them in-house versus AWS? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we definitely see um, uh, customers looking at, and it's hard to argue with the spot prices of 0.9 cents per core hour and, and 1.5 cents per core hour. Um, it's really hard to match that on an internal basis, but we definitely have customers 
that want to be able to take advantage of AWS. They don't want to ignore their existing investment. Um, but at the same point, you know, from a refresh standpoint, when we when we internally had the choice of buying more hardware, we went all in on, on cloud. We're anticipating a lot of our enterprise customers will do this. Now, how does a potential customer realize that they suddenly need your your skills and your expertise and your services? Well, so we actually help a lot of people. We got started before EC2 was even launched. So we actually help a lot of people managing their internal uh, compute environment. And we now have software that will automatically take clusters that we manage internally and use external capacity, scheduling the data back and forth. We have some interesting IP in this area to make it very easy for people to run uh, workloads in AWS. Uh, without having to do anything. It's all entirely automated. Um, so there's definitely a lot of um, uh, customers that come to us from their internal environments. But from an external perspective, if you're someone that's running a large scale analysis that you know is going to be in the 100 to, to million core hour range, that's generally a very easy use case for us. Or alternately, if you have an internal, you're a small organization or your department, and you would normally consider buying a cluster, we highly recommend that you look at just using it on the cloud solely. Cycle practices this actually ourselves. We own no servers. So all all of our server infrastructure, um, including the software test environment that we have for our own management software, is operated on top of AWS. And we basically dial that up and dial it down. Well, I've really enjoyed speaking with you and wish you a lot of luck with this uh, going forward. Thanks well, so much thanks for coming back. Yeah, it was a pleasure being here. Thanks for having us. Anytime. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.